Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a cell phone. This one is a Moto G8 Power Lite and the client brought it in because obviously the screen was cracked and it's not working or it's just half of it it was showing up so what I'm gonna do in this video is show you on a step by step how to open it up how to replace the LCD I believe the CD on this one was replaced initially before this is gonna be the second time but the procedure is the same so first thing first I'm gonna go over the tools you need a curved tweezer you need a SIM card remover so to remove the SIM card from here and pull out the SIM card obviously you will need a cutter you will need a spatula and you will need the replacement screen obviously the, I'll leave the link on the description you will need a screwdriver set I'm gonna be using a I fix it a screwdriver set and from here we're gonna be using a Phillips double zero you need some place to work on because there's gonna be lots of glass uh, glass is gonna break around so we're gonna be working on a workshop towel just one one sheet of the workshop towel and you need an opening tool if you get the pro set of this I fix a screwdriver set you will include you tweezers and opening tools and a screwdriver and everything you need but if not just grab a guitar pick just buy a few of them I always keep like a five six of them around so it's easier so with all this uh, on hand you still need a hair dryer or you can get yourself a hot station gun this they are both the same for the opening phone so don't worry about it you can use your hair dryer it pretty much does the same effect what are we going to do here we first we want to remove the back plate to remove the back plate this one was a little broken in the corner where they dropped it so and we want to start from the bottom left side or bottom mid side you want to stick the guitar pick between the bottom in cover and the top cover just like that right before the black bezel and you want to open it up gently don't don't over bend just put it on the side just do a little bit and go all around go a little bit on the back go all the way to the top side stop there go back the other way and once you release the sides go on the top portion same thing on the top portion just go all around by the audio jack snap it come here and place it right there and open up once you open up the little speed you just can just continue and lift it up be careful with the flex cable that goes for the touch id right here now down here we need to remove the battery first so we need to remove this cover right here there's a whole bunch of screws like a phillips screw then one of them should have a white paper with a warranty so go ahead and remove all of the screws All right, once you remove all the screws you want to grab this cover on top and you want to remove it just lift it up and bring it up from the battery side up and pull it out now first we want to disconnect the battery you just want to put your fingernail under the jack and lift it up so it becomes disconnected then disconnect the bridge cable disconnect the touch id remove the touch id back cover down here bring the battery over so it doesn't touch the board we're gonna disconnect the antenna cable right here just lift it upward and from here we're gonna remove the captain tape for the uh, on off switch uh, lift up the lock right at the back here 90 degrees and then go ahead and remove the flex cable for this one here now uh, we're gonna remove the motherboard out by lifting it up from one corner so we're gonna do it from top here just grab the from the top here and lift up the motherboard and remove it put it to one side because we don't want to heat up the motherboard the speaker leave it right there 
and this cable comes through here we need to remove the bottom uh, panel here so remove the screws on the bottom panel I once you remove the bottom panel now go ahead and lay it out put it right there on the sides and it should just pop down pop out and that's it you want to guard it keep it this is the flex cable for the screen so you can even go ahead and cut it if you don't you want it all right we're going to leave the battery in there we're not going to remove the battery now all we need to do is to heat up the screen and remove the adhesive that it has on the screen the screen can be punctured right through here to push it towards the other side but just leave it we're just going to heat it up and with the opening tool we're just going to fly it open we're going to start from the side that actually is not too much damage in here so we're going to open it up through here so go ahead and heat it up with a heat heat gun about 80 90 celsius make sure it's warm to touch so it has to be nice and warm not boiling so i'm going to be concentrating on this corner more because i'm going to start from here so i'm just going to do an l shape right here so we're going to put the guitar between the screen and the bottom cover make sure you have to find a way to get in there and you just want to lift it open Bring it up, go all around. Just make sure you find the screen right there. And once you have this one in there, now what we're going to do, we're going to heat it up. Make sure you put some eye protection on because these glasses they can just fly right to your eye, so be careful. Eye protection is must. Put yourself through the back to the top side. And go all the way to the corner. Remember, you're going to need this mesh right here, so save up this mesh. The mesh is going to be used for the new one. So I'm going to heat up the mesh so I can remove the mesh right there, the dust mesh. So there we go. Once we remove the dash mask, keep it and go ahead and remove the screen. This one you have to disconnect it from here too. So disconnect this one here, bring it out. So now, there we go. So this is your old. LCD, so trash this one, keep it safe or garbage it, recycle. Now we still need, there's a lot of glass in here, be careful the way you work. You need to remove all this extra glasses that is in here. So be careful, don't cut yourself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to heat it up and I'm going to use a chisel right here to remove as much as I can off the border these glasses right there.
what you want to do you want to go all around and clean up the border make sure there's no more dirt and dust everything in the corner clean them up nicely you can use a chisel or you can use a really sharp knife or sharp cutter to just cut through uh, clean up the corners so the uh, screen sits nicely flat right on top of the bezel right there And once this one is cleaned up, I'm gonna replace the workshop place here, workshop towel. So this goes straight to the garbage. And we're gonna place another one. First, let's go ahead and clean up this mesh cover right here. So remove all those extra glue that is right beside it double-sided tape, whatever. Make sure it's nice and clean. You can use a toothbrush to clean it up. All right, now that's cleaned up. First, we're gonna grab the board. We're gonna place the board right in its correct position. First, put the bottom side where the battery connector comes. And then bring the top side and just push it right through. Make sure the camera goes nicely in place. Okay. Connect the side uh, for the on-off switch here. Just slide it right under the jack. Lock it down. Put the antenna cable right on top. It's a push-on cable, so snap on. So all you need to do is align it and just push it right there. And make sure the cable is right in the tray. Okay. Here, this uh, cover here has to come right on top here. Sits right there. You can do a better job than me cleaning it up. So you can do a better job cleaning. Maybe I'll actually take it out, clean it up nicely. The glue, I mean. Right by the bezel you want to put it. Okay, be careful with the camera. You don't want to put the glue on top of the camera or on top of the mesh. I mean, right between both of them. What are we going to do? We're going to let it sit down for two, three minutes with the glue. So let for the glue to just react, activate. So it's not good to put it right away, so just wait for a few seconds, few minutes. Now next, we're gonna prepare the screen. We're gonna just remove this protection that it has on top. Both of the cables has to go through, so the contact, the small contact and the big contact. So bring the big one through there. And this one one has to go through it too on the side. And now we're gonna sit it down gently right on top. And we're gonna press down the corners all the way through. 
make sure the mesh is in the right position yes and if you see excess of the glue coming out from the side don't worry about it it's gonna dry off and it's just gonna come as a silicone so just press the corner make sure it makes a nice contact and now you want to put it down and you want to press on it put the contact on this side just snap it on top and we're still pushing on it the best thing is for me to put these clippers on for about a half an hour so i put these clippers on the sides in here for a little half an hour or so for the glue to just cure nicely okay because this phone is still when you put it in your back pocket you get a curvature on it so not always sit up nicely so and on the top part you can put a clippers if you have any extras in the middle you can put a uh, another one in the in the still one put a clippers in the middle you just want to put it on the side so yeah and on the middle side i will put a rubber band And then I'll put this on my lower. All right, I'm gonna let it sit down there for half an hour. Then I'll be back to continue to putting up the bottom cover. All right, now that we set it down for a few hours, and we're gonna remove the clips, and we are gonna work on the back side. Before anything, let's go ahead and plug in the LCD cable right here. Whoops, I forgot the elastic that I left on the bottom. So remove the elastics that you have. All right, so we're gonna plug in this cable, the LCD cable. And we're gonna bring down this side. And we are gonna, oh, before that, we gotta put down the bottom. Put the speaker on the bottom side. Gotta put the screws on the bottom. And This one has to go after we put the cover on top. So I'm going to first put the screws on the bottom side. Now we're going to grab the touch ID and we're going to align it and we're going to just push it in place. The power, align the power connector and Place it on top and put it in place. Grab the cover on the top, align it, put the top side down first, and then push down the corners. Make sure it goes in place nicely. It might do a few clicks, that's what you want to hear. And put the rest of the screws right on the cover here. And we're going to power on, and everything should be fine. You can test it out before putting up this cover so you can see if the screen is powering on. But I'm pretty sure that it's going to power on. All right. Now grab the top cover, bring it over, and just press on top. And make sure it goes in its place. Now, and that's it. And there's no battery in here, there's a battery symbol that shows up, that means you have to charge it up. So we're gonna leave it for charging and that's all. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to replace your battery, uh, your screen for your Moto G8 Power Lite version. If you liked it, please click that like button. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment as I will try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.